Assistant coach Alex English here in Philadelphia. And Alex, what have you seen out of your team the first half that uh, the Raptors haven't done in the last three games? Uh, what we've done is we haven't allowed easy transition points in that first quarter. We got back. We didn't let them fast break on us. We stopped the penetration. We rebounded. I think Rochelle's presence in that middle gave us a better defensive presence. Alex, your half-court offense, good execution. You got a lot of good opportunities in your five-on-five -five sets. Yes, we did. We were moving. We weren't stagnant. Whenever the ball went into Chris, we kept moving. Uh, you know, we just did a good job all around on both ends of the floor, moving the ball, getting back on defense, contesting shots, and just playing solid defense. Very good. Alex, as always, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank good you. All right, that's Alex English, who is scouting the Philadelphia 76ers, and he has joined us live at halftime with our Capital One Halftime including our stats, Jack Armstrong. There you go. We got a little Capital One halftime stats, and the Raptors shooting a solid percentage, doing a great job behind the arc from three, getting to the free throw line, moving the ball. The one negative, the turnovers. Give Philadelphia credit, though. I like their energy level. They're getting out, putting a lot of pressure on the Raptors on the perimeter game. But the most important thing, the Raptors hold the Sixers to 39 points in the first half. That's a positive. And there's the young man who played for... Team Canada this summer, Samuel D'Alembert and Anthony Parker breaking out a little bit tonight, 10 points. Raptors get ready here in the third quarter, our speed stick winning strategy. Well, first quarter, Raptors got it done. Secondly, defensive intensity, they got it done. Lastly, they have gotten the execution going in the half court sequences, 13 assists, 15 field goals, better ball movement tonight. Well, Bosch went after D'Alembert in the uh, first half, got him in quick foul trouble, and then they get a touch to begin the third, and Bosch travels for the Raptors, turnover number 11. But I'll take that. Go inside, establish your power game early. Good things happen off of that. Andre Miller had a very quiet first half. Solid defense by Anthony Parker. Iguodal had a crossover, got away with a carry. No, he did not. Dave Jones calls that violation. They're calling that a lot more, Chuck. I know we've, and they should. We've, and you're right. And, and I give the referees credit. They've been consistent throughout the board, whether it's a star-level player or a secondary guy. You do it, you get called for it. Michael Jordan wouldn't be in the league in this <laughs> era if they did that. I think he'd adjust. Capono to Ford. Raptors trying to win on the road here in Philadelphia. They head to Chicago right afterwards. They feed the post. Nesterovich with a hook up and out. 47-39 Toronto. Both shots to start the second half in the paint. Andre Miller. <laughs> Ford in the first half with nine points, couple of assists. Bosch, the high-low feed. Parker sneaks in inside underneath the baseline with a hoop. But Anthony Parker with 12. Good ball distribution by the Raptors. We continue to hold that eight-point lead. Iguodala on the Sterevich. Up around the iron and good. It's a kind roll to the rim for Iggy. Sure is. And, you know, he's gotten better as he's played in the league in terms of figuring out how to get his game off without the ball in his hands. Moving without the ball, using screens. Capono, wide open and buries it. That's his game. A little cat mouse on the baseline, using the screen. He's got the quick release. The ball's on the way to him. He's shot ready, nails it. Capona with five. We have played two minutes, third quarter here in Philadelphia. Miller. Dallenbear. Hyundai bringing you third quarter action on Rogers Sportsnet. Chuck Swirsky along with the coach, Jack Armstrong. Parker. To fade, the fire, to score. Oh. This is the best we've seen Anthony Parker all season yeah. long. Good for him. And this is a guy that's a hard worker, gets to the gym early, works at his game, and you knew sooner or later he was going to break out. That's 14 for Parker. And it's one and done for Philadelphia. Their field goal percentage plummeting now at 37%. Parker with a spin. And the toss out comes to Bosch over Dallenbear. And it's Reggie Evans with a rebound. And for Evans, that's his 10th. He had 15 against the Raptors opening night. 
Miller splits the defense. Nice scoop of the score by Andre Miller. Capono. And a blocking foul called against the Sixers. People have this perception of Capono. All he is is a jump shooter, but he is able to put it on the floor and he's aggressive attacking the puck. And look at him right here. Turn in the corner, recognizing the defense on the screen and roll. He knows Evans is inside the restricted area. Oh, yeah. Good play right there. Good call by the officials. Well, Jason Capono has made a lot of money because he can shoot the basketball. Oh, no but, doubt. And you know what, Jack? When he goes to the line, I mean, this is uh, fourth free throw appearance of the season. you got to have him at the strike. Well, he, he's a guy that's going to get crowded. People are going to play his jump shot. And he has the ability to put it on a deck and attack the basket. But his bread and butter, you're right, is knocking down a Jimmy. Capono against Iguodala. Now in a switch. Nesterovich is on Iguodala. Up and good. Down the foul. Capono came over to help on the switch and draws the foul. That's Capono's first. What happened here, Jack? Here he is, right? He gets he's slow getting back and he put the hand right on the chest. Minimal contact. I don't know. I think that's a play on, but that's just my opinion. 55-48. Philadelphia extending the defense now. Final pressure, trying to create tempo here. They've got Capona wide open in the corner. Oh. Bosch and a power move. And a foul, and this will send CB4 back to the strike. Well, good job by the Raptors. They attack pressure, and when you attack pressure, think layup. Attack the bucket. Don't settle for the jump shot, because they're trying to create tempo. Slice through them. And watch here's Chris Bosch going right at D'Alembert and Evans. Good play right there. He'll be at the line for his seventh and eighth attempt. Well, Bosch has been perfect at the line over the last two games. A perfect 20 for 20. Don't jinx him, Chuck. I know, then I'm going to get emails. Chuck, come on. <laughs> well, it didn't happen, thank goodness. So Bosch is a one for four from the floor, but seven for seven from the line. When you shoot free throws like that, Chuck, you do things to get fouled. And that's what he's doing tonight. Aggressively attacking a basket, getting the cheapies at the charity strike. Wraps 15 for 15 from the line. D'Alembert with a good look to Willie Green, poked out of his hands. Green recovers, going to Andre Miller. Dead on from 18 feet. Andre Miller. Miller working on the 9.5 assist game. There is Capono. Long board comes out to Philadelphia. Wraps hustle to get back on defense. Miller, the mid-range jumper, short, tap, no. Reggie Evans, up and good. That is his specialty. Just crashing the boards, aggressive on the glass. Alan Bear did a good job as well, keeping that alive. And they're not guys you throw it into and run your offense through, but they'll go get it, get your second opportunities. Ford misfired, and we have a loose ball good foul call. against Philadelphia. Stay right here. It's going to go on Reggie Evans. It's good for the Raptors because... There's something about the 76ers, Reggie Evans, every time he puts on a different uniform against Sam Mitchell's team. Yeah, he's, he's terrific on the backboards. And here's Evans right here. You'll see him set the screen, and he gets the inside position. He and D'Alembert keeping the ball alive. And look at Evans just going strong to the rack. Terrific rebounder. Nesterovic, air. And down the floor, on the runway, Andre Miller got tied up, almost lost it. Willie Green, way off the mark. And it's loose that it went off to get all out of bounds. It's a five-point Raptor lead with 7.18 to go third. This is one of those settle-down possessions, five-on-five half-court. Execute your half-court stuff right now. Bosch went up. And he got submarine to the foul. Thank you. There you go. You come down. You get your big man to the free throw line. And of course, his tradition in Philadelphia, the folks are booing. Surprise, surprise. But here they are, the Raptors coming down nice and easy. And Chris Bosch frees himself up on the opposite baseline. Now where was the foul on that, Jack? 
I mean, from this angle, that that looked like a play on. Down the other end, Capono got called for one that was ticky tack as well. Tight whistle, Chuck. Bosch nine for nine. Raptors 16 of 16. Varnati in the Stervich leads. The Stervich with eight rebounds in 12 scoreless minutes. He's not going to give you a lot of points. No. But what he does is in the offense, he's not demanding touches. He's going to set screens for people. He's going to keep the ball moving for you. And that's really what counts. Bosch just on a roll here, Chuck. 24 of his last 24. 59, 52 Raptors. Jason Smith on the floor for Philadelphia. Smith over Bargnani for Booker. That's confidence. Rookie comes in the game and touches it, shoots it. Ford taking Andre Miller all the way to the cup and a score. They opened the floor up that time for TJ. Blue by him. Nice backdoor cut. Willie Green fumbled it. He's going to bring it out. Now they've got Bosch playing green on a switch, allowing Iguodala to hoist it up for the three. Great screen that time by Smith. Gave Iguodala space to get that shot off. Everyone focuses on the shot, but the screen freed him up. Chris Bosch. And then loose on the floor, and finally Dallenberg says, I'll take it. Miller to the rim. And Joe DeRosa has called a foul on T.J. Ford, who looks over the shoulder, saying, I don't think so. Two calls that have been a little iffy here in the third quarter, and Andre Miller out of control here on the drive. That was a late call. I mean, he did have the hand on the chest. He did have the hand inside, yeah. But that's late. And here's it right here on a high screen and roll, wrapped the spaced out beautifully, and poor coverage that time by the sixes on a high screen. T.J. commits his second personal foul as Andrea Miller is one for two at the line. Only the ninth appearance at the strike for Philadelphia. As we mentioned, they came in shooting 30 free throw attempts on the season, but 68%. Look at Chris Bosch right here, missing the last shot. And very little effort by the guys in the red shirts that time on the offensive boards. you got to continue to put pressure on them. On the flip side... The Raptors concerned with getting back defensively and not allowing Philly to get the transition game going. So it's very important to be decisive. If you go to the glass, go hard. If not, get back quick. Up on the boards, back on the deep. T.J. Ford, line to the lane. Oh. The scoop pass and back to the free throw line for C.B. Ford. Beautiful job again. T.J. draw and kick. Bosch will be shooting at the charity strike. With 5.47 to go, with the Raptors at the stripe when we return on Roger Sportsnet. Tomorrow we'll be in Chicago on TSN, 8.30 Eastern time with a tip. And then Roger Sportsnet, a back-to-back, -back, Utah and Indiana respectively, right here on Roger Sportsnet. So join us from the Air Canada Center for the Jazz and the Pacers. All right, our Hyundai, this is a new feature, and we love it. And it's called our Think About It, Who Holds the Philadelphia Record for Most Points in One Game? You want the answer right now? Or you no, want no, no, okay. no, 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 no. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I think I know the answer. Okay. All right. Well, just give us a little bit. All we'll right. tell you a little later. All the computer geeks are probably getting online, checking right now. They're record books. Now, Jack. Remember, this is the 76ers record, not the Philadelphia Warriors record. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you don't have, it doesn't say that, though, Chuck. It says the Philadelphia record. Well, I so, think we mean 76ers. Well, you have to, when you, when you say something, it's either, you got to make sure it's not only understood, it's not misunderstood. Bosch rolls off. That's his first miss in 11 attempts. He's human. He is here. That's why they put erases on pencils, Chuck. He's also an all-star player looking for his third consecutive trip in New Orleans this year in February. Starting a new strike right there. 62-58, two-possession lead for the Raptors. We go with Capono, Parker, Bosch, Ford, and Bargnani. This is Willie Green. Angles off to the right. Trap. 
Giving it up to Iguodala. With 10 on the clock, Iguodala gets Capone on a crossover. To the rim, up and good. What a play by Andre Iguodala. Busted down the Raptors' interior defense. Good patience by the Sixers as well. So what Elaine attacked it. An 8-3 Sixer run. They close the gap down by two. Parker, who's had a fine ball game. His pass deflected. Bargnani turns, shoots, short. And it's Willie Green. He's got Smith running the floor. Green all the way to the cup. He got stripped. And it's deflected by Toronto out of bounds. Delfino is going to be coming in for the Raptors. Andrea Bargnani after the missed shot, Jack. He gets an open opportunity, misses it, and then Philadelphia. Capono can't come up with it. And Philly off to the races. Here's the foul. And then TJ Ford with the steal. He's going to the basket. No! Philadelphia looking to tie here. D'Alembert on Bosch. And that's a charge. Yes, it is. On Samuel D'Alembert. His third. Giving him four now. I beg your pardon. Chris Bosch is so improved this year defensively, Chuck. And everyone's focusing on his offense. Here it is again. Look at him. Stepping in, taking it on the numbers, blocking shots a little bit more this year, Chuck. Doing a great job as a help defender on his man, off his man, coming over to provide assistance, doing a better job taking charges, blocking shots. Dallin Barrett to the bench. Bosch with a spin, and he just took Calvin Booth to school. Send him back to Penn State. 64-60, Raptors. Bosch with a 15.5 rebound game. Seven in the third quarter for CB4. Iguodala. Now they've got Bargnani playing him at the top of the circle. Andre Iguodala with a spin. Up. No. Rebound Parker. He just couldn't finish. Ford. Andrea Bargnani. Travels. Yeah, he is so quick, Jack. Is that a travel? Or the officials got to make an adjustment watching Andre? I think a little bit of both. He is quick. But he's got to make sure he anchors that pivot foot. Look at Anthony Parker giving Andrea Bagnani help, changing the comfort level of Iguodala on the shot attempt. That's where I think you got to dunk the ball if you're Iguodala. Wasn't on balance to do it, though. And T.J. Ford with a rejection on Willie Green. Green just ate some Spalding courtesy of T.J. Ford. T.J. Ford. What a swap. Look at it right here. Get that garbage out of here, T.J. <laughs> Five on the shot clock. Andre Miller. Smith. Way off the mark. New shot clock at 24 after it hit the iron. And then Andre Miller sells for the jumper. Not a good decision. It takes, by a, lot. Miller. It takes a lot of shots for a point guard. He's not too much. Oh, and a block by Smith. The clock continues to run. TJ Ford. Ford, double dribble. Put two hands on the ball. You know, the Raptors have had a tough stretch here offensively. And Sam Mitchell going to call a timeout. Got to continue to defend. Sixers hanging around. This is uh, TJ and then Jason Smith challenging. 3.07 to go through here in Philadelphia. 64-60 Raptors. All right, Jack, real quickly, think about it. Who holds... The Philadelphia record for most points in the game brought to you by Hyundai. Oh. Is it? Okay. The Philadelphia record. Is it Charles Barkley? Remember, this is the sixer. Is it Barkley? Is it Dr. J? Is it Wilt Chamberlain? The Big Dipper. Is it Allen Iverson? The Big Dipper right is, there. Is it Leo Routens? You know, it should be Leo Routens. Now, Will Chamberlain had 68 against the Bulls. He did score a 100-point game highest total in NBA history as a Philadelphia Warrior in Hershey, Pennsylvania so against the both. Knicks. He owns both. Yeah. See, I knew the answer, Chuck. I thought it was Leo Routens, though. <laughs> Tough shot, Andre. No, he went right to the 
grill of CB4. This is a two-point Raptor lead. Anthony Parker, great stroke tonight. Beautiful, beautiful move by Anthony Parker, who was set. And he's got 16 points, five boards in 28 minutes. Good to see him back on track, because you like getting that consistent productivity from a wing position. Miller is trapped. Corver to Iguodala. Iguodala on Delfino. The trailer is Parker. And Parker had the ball taken out of his hands by Iguodala and a foul on Anthony Parker at midcourt. For Parker, that will be his second. Raptors, 14 turnovers. My goodness. A lot of it comes from the fact that the Philadelphia 76ers have played very good perimeter defense tonight, Chuck. A lot of them have forced. This is Lewis Williams who struggled in the first half just getting his team involved in the offense. Corver having an off night at the office. Corver is three for nine. Boy, is he hunting shots down. He is quick on the trigger. Wow. Parker. Jose Calderon buries it. Nice job by Anthony Parker. Turned down a semi-contested shot and got Jose a clean look. Jose shot ready, nails it. The ball ball. 19 points scored by the Raptors reserves. Called along with five dimes, four assists. Here's Jason Smith at the foul line jumper around the iron. Good. Jason Smith off the bench. He has played 12 minutes, three or four from the floor with a board, an assist, and six points. I know he's your Gatorade X Factor. I know you're giving him props. And Calderon has fouled and will shoot two. Raptors tonight, I think it's so important when they're on a roll, they move the ball with a purpose. Carlos Delfino, Anthony Parker and company. Look at Delfino here. Quick swing around the horn. Parker uses the dribble as a weapon. And Jose Calderon, shot ready, nails it. But everyone touches it. Ball moves with a purpose. Good spacing. And you're getting clean looks. Wide open shots that you should nail. Rather than semi-contested, fully contested shots that you're not going to shoot as high percentage. Calderon at the free throw line with the Raptors tonight. All right, 19 of 21. Calderon, a restricted free agent at the end of the season, told me prior to the ball game that's the last thing on his mind. He says, honestly, Chuck, I don't even think about it. I'm here to play ball. The rest will take care of itself in the summer. Good attitude to have. Iguodala matched up against Bosch. Now Delfino's playing Iguodala, and the rainbow is good. Tough shot. That was good defense. Raptors contain, contest, give the shooter credit. Iguodala with 21. And Calderon in goaltending. Jason Smith got that ball on the downward flight. Jose Calderon giving the Raptors that's a push his, here. That's his move right there. Jose changes speeds. See you later. 71-66 with 37 seconds left third quarter on Rogers Sports Day. Corver. A motion offense with Lewis Williams on the drive to the rim. And a foul and he will shoot two. Bosch collects his third. As Williams only 55% shooter at the foul line. This is Lou Williams game though. He Loves to slice and dice and attack the rim. Lou Williams, the high school player of the year in Georgia, where he scored during his career over 3,000 points. Originally committed to the University of Georgia and then decided to come out directly out of high school. Young Philadelphia team. 71-68, Toronto. Trying to even their record at 3-3 three and three to snap a three-game losing streak. They get the Bulls tomorrow night in Chicago. Ten on the shot clock. Calderon against the second-year player in Williams. Inbounding now with four on the shot clock. Sam Mitchell all the way on the floor. 
Calling out a play here. Plenty of time. Four on the shot clock. Catch and shoot. One bounce from Max. Parker over Calvin Booth. Hit the top of the backboard in a 24 second violation. So 3.1 seconds left through. Those are the things that you work on in practice. Situational ball, four on the shot clock, and you rewind that play again and try to do a better job executing it. Rodney Carney better hurry. A runner off window. And we go to the fourth with Raptors up 71-68. Anthony Parker has tied the season out with 16 points. And Philadelphia led by Andre Giudala with 21. So we go to the fourth quarter in Philadelphia. Raptors in a ball game with the Sixers on Rogers Sportsnet. <laughs> President's Choice third quarter stats. Well, the Raptors. Pretty even in terms of field goal percentage. The big story in this game, though, Raptors doing a great job getting to the free throw line, in particular Chris Bosch. The turnover's problematic. You got to give Philadelphia credit, though. Their perimeter defense has been good, getting them off to the transition game. Ed Snyder, in your picture, is the uh, owner of the uh, Philadelphia 76ers, the majority owner of the Flyers as well. And in the offseason, he spent a lot of that Flyer money acquiring Jason Smith from the Oilers and Daniel Briere from Buffalo. And the Flyers are back in contention. Well, they are. And, uh, and the Sixer team on the flip side going through the rebuilding process. And there you see the Flyers with a great tradition here in Philadelphia. Rabid fans for hockey. And they're rabid fans for everything here, Chuck. Very passionate, emotional. A lot of interesting comments being directed at the Raptor bench tonight from the fans. And we've seen it all here. We've seen it all here. Yeah. Particularly during the playoffs. We had the great seat for that, boy. Eric Lindros retired yesterday. We wish him well. He's going to work for the NBA PA. Williams. He also donated, Lindros did $5 million to the local uh, hospital in uh, London, Ontario. That was a very controversial acquisition with the Quebec Nordiques. Lindros did not want to play in Quebec. Belongs in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. It's going to be interesting because it depends on who you talk to. Some people say he's borderline. Other people say he's in. Well, we want to know one thing here. We're in a ball game. 71-69 Raptors. Calderon, Moon, Delfino, Bergnani, and Dixon. Moon getting a lot of playing time. Philadelphia going small tonight. Moon with four points. Calderon over Williams. Just beat him off the dribble. And then Calderon comes up with a steal. And the refs have a chance to reload with Dixon. To the rim, up and good. Oh, Calderon with the drive, then the steal. What an impact. Jose Calderon off the bench. Lewis Williams having so many problems. Again, he is very, very young, so you have to give him some patience. But they're asking a lot. He's more of a combo guard, Chuck. He's not really a pure one. Five on the shot clock. Jason Smith, no, from three-point range. He had to cast it up with the clock expiring. Moon. From the corner, swings it. And Calderon. Wants better spacing on the floor. Let's see how Jose operates in this half-court set. Moon from 20. Got it. I like that. Confident. Catches it. No question he was going to shoot it. This That's is a 6-1 run. 77-69. Jose Calderon executing with efficiency. Fourth quarter action here at Wachovia Center in Philadelphia. Jose Calderon doing a nice job. Well, excellent, Chuck. I mean, he's just making great decisions, changing speeds. Really doing a wonderful job running the offense. On a high screen and roll, just turning the corner, scoring on Williams. Look at this right here. Picking the pocket, and then the Raptors in their half-court offense. 
Look at it right here. Now the execution off of that. Juan Dixon with the layup off of the steal. Watch it right here. Now they're patient. They pull it back out. He gets Moon positioned properly. They go a high screen and roll with Bagnani. And then good recognition, throwing it over the top. The defense playing the play. And Moon getting a clean look. That is what a quarterback does at the point guard spot. Get your people in the right spot. Get them good shots. And Mario Moon, seen significant time in this rotation, has played 12 minutes with six points. Corver is three for 10. Nice pass, and the layup is good by Moon from Calderon. It's a great story we have developing here with Moon and Calderon showing confidence in him, giving him touches when he earns it. Raptors have opened up now a 10-point lead as Calderon has been so effective with seven assists, and there's Lewis Williams ready inside. Right through the Raptor defense in the paint. Bargnani and a pump on a drive and a power move, and he got fouled sent to the floor by Cardi. I like that, though. I mean, Andrea, they respected his shot as he's earned it. And he's looking in there, looking to absorb some hits from white shirts. And watch it right here. They come out and fly at him. So he's going in there saying, all right, come on, fellas. I'm taking you on. And that's what you want more and more of from the youngster. And you get a little stronger each year, he's going to be able to do that more and more. Andre Miller the 76 Andre Miller is checked in as Carney leaves. Raptors going with Moon, Delfino, Bargnani, Dixon, and Calderon. Philly with Williams, Corver, Miller, Smith, and Iguodala. So Lewis Williams going to slide over and play the two guard with Miller at the point. Philadelphia's reserves, 8 of 24 in the ball game. Big drop off. Iguodala. Williams from the corner. He doesn't have to handle the ball. He's got to make those decisions at the top of the circle. Yeah, and he's more of a combo. Probably more of an off guard, shooting guard type. Can handle it a little bit. But he's much more comfortable as a scorer. He yes. scored 3,000 points. That's Takes your game. a lot of pressure off. Dixon on Williams. Bargnani a deep three in the muggle. Feeling it. Andrea Bargnani with nine. Raps have made all five field goal attempts here in the fourth quarter. Iguodala slash it inside. A good kind of foul. Some miscommunication on the part of the Raptors and defensive set. Uncle Dallin, if you have miscommunication, he's going to make you pay. Watch it right here. Raptors doing a poor job guarding the ball initially, and then they help and recover. He drove right through it. Iguodala with 23. He's going to have a big season because he's their best player. They're, they're expected to win by most publications anywhere between 30 and 35 games. Yeah. Basically in the same ballpark as they were last year. Mm -hmm. So he's going to get a lot of touches. 83-76 Raptors. Calderon pressure down the front by Iguodala. An excellent defender. Bargnani the step back three. Iguodala with a rebound. That's a sit. And a lift that's good by Andre Miller. And here come the Sixers and a 5-0 run. Quick shot that time by Bagnani. It's one thing when you're wide open in rhythm. It's another thing, don't force your game when your team's on a roll. And the Raptors want to talk it over at the 8-0-1 mark. Here in the fourth quarter, Bargnani with nine off the bench. I'm Roger Sportsnet. Our Sprite Impact player, Anthony Parker, has been splendid in 31 minutes, 16 points, six boards, a couple of assists, and he got it going. He had the mojo in the first half, knocking down some threes, that fadeaway jumper from the baseline. You know, not only the offense, but his defensive intensity. He's just a consistent, steady player, and playing some major minutes tonight as well, as you mentioned, 31 minutes. And that's the Anthony Parker we saw a year ago. Highly productive and efficient and durable. And um, good to see him back on track. He's a major piece of the puzzle for the Raptors' success. 
Andrea Bargnani, Andrea tonight with a couple of threes as well. Set up right time by Juan Dixon and Andrea in rhythm shooting it, then he kind of forced the next shot he took. Calderon remains at the point with Dixon playing the two guard, driving on foul. Corver, banker, no, tip, no, rebound, Philadelphia. Bosch, Calderon, Dixon, Delfino, move, and Lewis Williams turn it on the burners, going coast to coast. He is definitely a guy in the open court that's looking to get his. Look at him right here. See, Jack, how much he's playing now with confidence that he doesn't have to handle the ball? Yeah. Well, again, he's, he's, he's a scoring-minded guard. Ford and Parker return. Calderon will leave. Dixon will go to the bench. Calderon played great. Yes. I mean, nine points, seven assists. T.J. Ford's done a solid job in this game as well. So, see how Sam Mitchell handles the rotation down the stretch. T.J. finish the game here, or is he spot them back and forth? We'll find out. Plenty of time remaining. Seven and a half minutes remaining. 83-80 Raptors. Parker to Bosch. Dallin Bear. Oh. Spot it away. No goaltending pull. Here is Parker from the elbow. Too strong. And Jamario Moon with the rebound. What a play by the Rook. Love what I see from Jamario Moon tonight. Five boards as well as eight points. His athleticism just too much for Corbin. Delfino slashing inside, trips, stumbles, and we've got... What do we have? The officials are calling a trip on the Sixers. I like that, though. Delfino challenging the defense. Aren't you right here? Delfino turning the corner. Put pressure on the defense. This will go against Lewis Williams. Jamario Moon, Chuck. He is. Just watch this long shot, long rebound. And he just goes in and gets it. Bosh, pretty move and the follow-up by CB4. Oh, he took it right at Dallin Bay that time. Aggressively, good footwork in there and the pump fake. At 17 points, seven boards for Bosch. Corver for three. Corbin off the bench. That's the second triple in eight attempts. 85 83, Raptors by two. Jamario Moon on the floor at crunch time. Here is Bosch, the mid range jumper, way off the mark, and the long board comes out to Moon. Shot clock continues to run. Five ticks. TJ Ford. TJ getting so confident in his jump shot again comes into the game shooting 50 percent he's five of ten tonight a lot more reliable in that part of his game forward dallin bear on the drive with moon no up it's a rebound and a foul on jamario moon who thought he had all ball but sending dallin bear to the free throw line for the philadelphia 76ers for the first time tonight. Samuel Dalbert has not scored for the Sixers tonight. They need more from him in the pivot. Nice move here on Moon, and he's so long, tough to keep off the glass once he gets in that deep. Dalbert, a 69% shooter, but what about TJ Ford with a huge, big time shot? Well, you know, point guards in this league are so important in short clock situations. And what's short clock? Less than five on the shot clock. What do they do? Do they bail your team out or do they make bad decisions? And TJ Ford bailing his team out late in the clock. Ford passing it up. Parker, no. Rebound. Dallin Bear. Sixers down by two with five and a half minutes remaining in regulation on Roger Sports Day. Lewis Williams has tied the ball there. And this has been a major factor when Mo Cheeks put Andre Miller back on the court, allowing Williams to play the off guard. A 7-2 Philadelphia run, tied at 87. Parker turns the corner. Bosch passed up a foul line jumper. Parker, the step back three ball from 18 Parker Mill Court. 
Good patience, Chris Bosch attracting a lot of white shirts. Kicks it out, Parker ready to roll. Parker with 19, Raptors by three. Iguodala wants to go after Delfino on an ISO with the spin, double on the ball. Williams, line to the lane. Dallin with a pick. Lewis Williams beating the big man. Well, he attracts so much attention on that drive because he's been shooting it. Great decision on a dump off. 90-89 Raptors. T.J. Ford with a stop and go, and he beats Dallin Bear to the glass. T.J. Ford with 15. What a ball game. Nice change of speed as well, and they're having a tough time guarding T.J. in open space. 92-89 Toronto. Putting pressure on the Philadelphia offensive half-court set. Iguodala, about 18 feet away, the rainbow. <laughs> if he's going to beat you, though, Chuck, make him beat you with the jump shot, hand in the face. Delfino, solid D. Fourth, the love pass. Bosch. And a foul on Dallenberg. Nice job. TJ comes down. They go inside to their big fella and build their offense from there. Watch right here. Throws it over the top. He has inside position. And then Bosch keeping it up big. You know, big people, don't put the ball on the floor unless you have to, particularly in tight spaces. Keep it above your chin. Take it strong for the defense and draw the foul. For Dallenberg, his fifth. Bosch is 11 of 12 at the line. It's a one-point Raptor lead. And again, the Raptors executing at the back end of the shot clock. Bosch showing patience, attracting three white shirts. Parker, clean look, nails it. That's what you want. Don't force your game. Trust your teammates. And Bosch making impeccable decisions. Bosch 13 of 14. What a performance by Bosch in the last two games. 14 free throw appearances in each contest. And the Raptors by three with 3.23 to go. Regulation on the road. Lewis Williams has played very well here in the fourth quarter. Working against T.J. Ford. Williams from 19. That's off the mark. Andre Miller couldn't control the long rebound. Big possession here. right here, Chuck. Three-point game. Execution. You're on the road. Get a high percentage look right here. T.J. Ford brings it out. Four, line to the lane, the pitch out, Jamario Moon, Moon, giving it up, Bosch, bam, CB4. And we're going to have a timeout, Philadelphia. Patience, shot taken in rhythm, uncontested, excellent job. So Bosch with a 21.8 rebound game, he has been fabulous. Execution in half-court offense, 2.49 to go, Raptors on the road, up 5-5. Five five. Sam Mitchell had this Ford coach's edge prior to the ball game. We talked about containing Iguodala, Andre Miller, nowhere Corver is all the time, and Iguodala and Miller have combined for 39 points for the Sixers. But I tell you what, you go on the flip side with the Raptors. Mario Moon has been really effective. Look at him right here, taking the ball in the basket. Knock it down the jump shot. The high flyer. Look at him right here, a strong take off a nice cut. And he, he just, he's playing like he belongs. I just Chuck, like his whole temperament. Do you think it's today's shoot-around of Philadelphia? Now, I did not cover their shoot-around, but do you think Jamario's movie name came up in their shoot-around? Uh, I would imagine, in his own mind, he probably said, I hope to get in the game. He's going to play 20 minutes. But I'm talking about your Mo Cheeks. Oh, yeah. No, not at all. And, and on the flip side, if you're with Jamario Moon, this is the type of game based upon the matchups. Uh, look at the numbers. Very effective. His defense has been big. His quickness, his athleticism, his energy level, a positive. Big possession now for the 76ers who trail at home by five. They've got Moon playing Iguodala. They feed the post. Allowing Miller to good look from the left wing. And Jamario Moon pulling down his seventh rebound to go along with eight points. 
691 Raptors. Bosch, Ford, Moon, big shot. And Bosch, do we have a jump or a foul? We've got a foul. Got a foul. On Iguodala. It's a 14 foul on Philly. Not in the bonus yet. Here's the pass, TJ. Nice look there for Jamario Moon. Chris Bosch drawing a foul. We are at the tube of the bar here in regulation. Raptors by five. TJ Ford eating some flops. Ford for the stop and go. Moon back to TJ. And he had that ball taken out of his hands by Iguodala. And Iguodala threw the ball away. And a new shot clock at 24. Half court execution right here. Imperative decision making, high percentage shots. Let's see what the Raptors run right here with Ford against Andre Miller. And he threw it away. Down the floor. Lewis Williams on Parker and a reverse. No. Tip. No. Rebound to Gidella. No. What defense by Jamario Moon? Oh, that was great individual effort by Moon that time. Iguodala, a high flyer going to the basket. And Moon nullifying him. That's terrific individual effort, Chuck. He was battling Andre Iguodala on every inch of those shots. That's a killer possession for the Sixers. You've got to score on that. Look at this right here. Moon just going right up there with him. And then Jamario Moon at the free throw line. With 1-11 to go. This game isn't over yet, folks. Philly takes time out. 97 to 91, which remains a two full possession game now, a six point advantage. Chuck, there was a lot of discussion preseason. You know, do they keep Luke Jackson? Do they take a chance on Jamario Moon? I think if you're a Raptor fan and you're watching this game, I think you recognize the different style of play he brings to the Raptors, and I think it's been effective for them. Well, I'm not saying that Luke Jackson's no, a bad ball player. I'm not play. saying that whatsoever. And uh, the Moon gives them a different look. Here's our Gatorade X Factor. Andrea Bagnani, my choice, nine points, two rebounds. Your choice, Mr. Smith, six points, three or five. Who wins, by the way, Chuck? I think uh, Gatorade wins. There you go. I'm a little thirsty. I would love a little Gatorade right now. I'm sure Jamario is enjoying a little Gatorade as we speak. But he, he just provides a different look at a game like tonight. His quickness and athleticism, his defensive ability, his poise and maturity has earned him major minutes this evening. Still out there. And they go upstairs and throw him down. What a pass. I don't think the Raps were prepared for that. On an alley from the uh, sideline. Give them credit. Outstanding execution by the Sixers. Poor foul this time by Andre Miller. That's going to send T.J. Ford to the strike. Not just right here. And this is the, one of the old side out of bounds plays you run your best shooter to the strong corner the defense cheats to the to the shooter and you just throw it to the guy who set the screen because in basketball the guy who's always open is the guy who sets the screen good play call as Ford misses the first of two there remains a two possession lead for the Raptors with 67 seconds to go he splits a pair and it's Philadelphia ball he has 65 seconds remaining. Fourth quarter on Roger Sportsnet. Iguodala against Jamario Moon. Got tied up. Lewis wins three ball. Rimming, rimming. Yeah! Are you kidding me? <laughs> the Raptors spread the offense. T.J. Ford in traffic. Park 
Parker, big shot. Onions, baby onions. Anthony Parker for three. Timeout, Philadelphia. T.J. Boyd's penetration. The Raptors open up the court, and he breaks them down off the bounce. And Anthony Parker having a terrific night tonight. Gets an open opportunity and nails it. Watch the space here. They go high screen and roll. TJ to penetration. Loses control. But the defense is all out of whack because of the penetration of Parker sticking it. Well, that, that's got to make Sportsnet connected. That has got to make Sportsnet connected. I would say it will, Chuck. And, uh... and toss in a cheese steak. <laughs> I'm hungry. 10196 wraps. More road action for the Toronto Raptors tomorrow night in Chicago at the United Center, 8.30 Eastern Time on TSN. And then Rogers Sports that returns with more exciting Raptors ball Wednesday at the Air Canada Center against the Utah Jazz. And then a week from tonight at the Air Canada Center against the Indiana Pacers. Raptor fans are everywhere. Iguodala, good penetration. And Lou Williams, man, he is rolling. The youngster. And then the Raptors again. Ford's penetration totally distorting the guys in the white shirts. And look who's wide open. Hawker. Raptors 9 of 18. 50% from behind the arc tonight. But their ball movement, their spacing, their execution getting good open shots tonight. I can tell the Raptors are now ready for that. Yeah. Here. As Iguodala to Mario Moon. Iguodala with a step back three, way off the mark. Williams, Miller, they swing it. Corver, 20 on the shot clock. Corver with a bounce pass. Williams from the corner and the foul. I don't believe it. Tell him to the foul with a four point opportunity for Lewis Williams. Oh my goodness. Did he make that shot, Jack? He spaced the Raptors out. You, you, the Raptors are covering the perimeter, but they come in and help on a penetration on Culver. How often do you see a shot from the corner hit the glass? Oh, unbelievable. But, you know, when Culver comes to penetrate in the middle, instinctively you come to help. But in a situation like that, you don't come help. Make him take the two. Let him take the two. Stay closed on shooters. In your mentality, defensively, your mindset should be no threes. Give Corva credit, getting rid of it, and Lou Williams, what an incredible shot. Lewis Williams with 16 fourth quarter points, all because Mo Cheeks said, I'm moving him to two, Andre Miller at the point, and Williams at the free throw line with 21 seconds to go. Raptor lead with 21.4 seconds left. And we got a 20-second timeout, Toronto. Well, if you're Sam Mitchell right now, you get your five best free throw shooters in the game. That's the most important thing. Sureness on the inbound play. Be solid on your screens. Philadelphia likely is going to switch every screen, Chuck, to negate the purpose of the screen. Come receive your pass, two-hand catch, and hold it tight because you're going to get fouled. All right, Jack, here's the situation. Philadelphia, no timeouts remaining. Raptors with a full minute 20. Let's set the scene now for Philadelphia defensively. No timeouts. They're down by one. you got to switch every screen, negate it, and then when the ball comes in bounds, foul. And on the flip side here, the Raptors fundamentally solid. Make sure you set solid screens. Come meet your pass, two-hand catch, and hold tight because you're going to get whacked. And here's the good free throw shooters in now. Capono, you get your two point guards coming in. You have Calderon and Ford. Bosch, a sensational free throw shooter. Delfino, that's a good call here as well by uh, Sam Mitchell. He's going to have Calderon as point guard as a trigger man. This is big. You always want your best passer in there. Calderon inbounding in front of it. It's on the left wing to Bach. And he is fouled with 20.4 seconds. And Perfect. when the Raptors accomplish what they want to do, get the hands of the big man who's 13 to 14 from the free throw line. Late game scenarios, doing the little things. Insert your good free throw shooters. Make sure your trigger man on the inbound pass is the right guy. And then if you're the Raptors, Jack, provided the Bosch makes a couple of free throws to make this a three-point game, then what? Well, again, I think your focus, as I said the last time, 
on drives. Not to do that. Oh, here's my point. You, you play the three-point shot. You don't allow threes. You get down to the end, you give it. And again, you give the foul only if it's a situation where it's on the floor. Don't, whatever you do, don't give it in the act. He is 14 of 15 at the free throw line. But it's interesting right now, if you're Philadelphia, I wouldn't go for the three right now. If you, if you get a wide open three, you take it. 20 on the clock, that's a ton of time. Try to get the quick two and foul again. Stretch the game out. It is up and good. Now let's see how Philadelphia runs it. Lewis Williams over the midcourt line. Here is Williams on T.J. Ford, crossing over to the rim. Up. I don't believe it. Lewis Williams initiating contact, and this young man is come up big time in the fourth quarter. They did what I said. They went for the quick two, and they got the three-point play the old-fashioned way. This young man's got game. Lewis Williams is going for his 20th point in the fourth quarter. He has 19 this period. 21 in the ball game. He's giving us a little world be free, this Andrew Tony. free here. throw. And he missed! He left. Get fouled with Delfino with 12.9 seconds to go. Oh, what a ball game. Still plenty of time. And now Andre Miller talking a little smack to Carlos Delfino, <laughs> who is uh, going to the line for the first time tonight. Good blockouts by the guys in the red shirts and Delfino. He's got that nose for it. He goes and gets it. He's 57% uh, shooting from the line this season. I think we're in the same position again if you're Philadelphia, Chuck, if the Raptors make both of these free throws. Well, we're going to the three now. Delfino, this is the one you need. Raptors 7 of 11 from the line here on the court. This is a huge, big time free throw. It is up. Remy, Remy, good. We have 12.9 seconds for any regulation. Iguodala inbounding to Andre Miller. 10 seconds left. Andre Miller flying to the lane. Double pump up. Rejected by Bosch. Chris Bosch coming through with that big time swap. I said it earlier, I'll say it again, an improved defensive player this year, Chris Bosch. Your franchise guy coming up with the big block. They clear the open floor, Miller with the drive, the pump fake. Bosch says, get that garbage out of here. Big time play. Andre Miller just ate some Spalding. Great help defense. Parker led him to the help, and Bosch nullified it. Remember Bosch, who had a big block a year ago in Washington, D. And a Raptor. And Delfino misfires on a free throw. Carlos has got to follow through on his free throw. Kind of backing off the line a bit a little bit. Stay in it. This game's still not over yet. Again, Philadelphia, no timeouts remain. Delfino, it is up. No good. Rebound Bosch. And Corver fouls him with 3.4 seconds. And I can tell you what, right now, Bosch is going to put this game away. Wow. Philadelphia catches a break, and they don't secure the rebound. That's the thing that drives you absolutely nuts. Delfino missing both. You have rebounding position. You have the inside of the lane. And Dallin Bear, he went underneath the rim. He didn't block Bosch out. Wow. Bosch is 16 of 17 from the line. Chris five Bosch. for five in the fourth quarter. The block. And, and free throws. Yeah. He's got a 24-point, 10-rebound game. Bosch's third double-double on the young season. He had 42, a franchise record a year ago. Takes a deep breath. Bends the deal. It is up, and it is no good! Get the foul. Great good job. play. Great play. Heady play right there. You're up three points. Don't allow a frantic three-point attempt. Foul him. Obviously, if you're Philadelphia, you make the first and try to have your best athletes on the floor to go get it on the second shot for the miss. 
Watch this. Bosch misses the shot. You're, now it's a three-point game. Give the foul right away. Don't allow them. There you go. Good play. I, Jose, good heady play that time. Jose out there. You want your point guards out there to make smart decisions. Two crucial free throws missed by the Sixers. One by Lewis Williams, who could have tied the ball game. He's still got, you know, even though it's a three-point... He's got to miss this. And then tap it out tap to three-point range. And again, these are the dangerous ones, the disorganized shot. Be solid. Don't foul jump shooters. <laughs> Bosch running baseline. Ford throws the ball down the court. Ball game over. Get out the salami and cheese with a Philly cheesesteak to go. Raptors win. Raptors win. Raptors win. 105-103. Woo! What a win. The Raptors holding on for dear life. They've struggled the last three games, but they find a way to battle back and get a good road win. I don't know about you, Jack. I almost had a cardiac arrest here in Philadelphia. I mean, the last frenetic 60 seconds of this ball game. That was fun. The Raptors playing with great intensity down a stretch. All right, we're going to uh, be joined in just a moment. By Jamario Moon. Yes. And, uh, here's Jamario right here. And, and uh, Jamario, let, let's talk about your performance tonight. You're called upon early. You're in the game at crunch time. What went through your mind? Well, I just wanted to come out and, and do everything the coach asked me to do. He told me he wanted me to come in and get some rebounds and just play hard and with some energy. So I, I came out and did my job. Jamario, they went small tonight. And your perimeter defense was a big factor. Just playing energetic. What was your focus tonight defensively? I just wanted to stop Iguodala from, from being comfortable. I just wanted to get in and crowd him and make him take tough shots. So, I mean, and so it wouldn't be easy for him so we could get, get off the fast breaks and, and, and run our offense. Well, well, just out of curiosity, Jamario, because here you are, you're, you're watching what's developing over the last 45 seconds of this game in regulation. Tell me about this. I mean, it, it was exciting. It was exciting. I, I was like, man. I never thought I'd be in the game in crunch time in a, in a big game like this. So, I mean, it, it was fun. By the way, Tony, Anthony Parker's giving you the sign behind your head there. He's busting with you. Hey, you know, <laughs> think about your poise tonight offensively. He's doing it to you again. I'd smack him if I were you. It's all good. It's a rookie thing. Exactly. <laughs> poise offensively tonight. Mm -hmm. Your teammates had confidence in you at the back end of the shot clock to make plays as well. Right. Well, they just told me to come down, you know, be comfortable and just shoot the ball when I'm open. So I just... I just wanted, I listened to my teammates and, and it worked out fine. 105, 103. And that's the bottom line. Jamario, congratulations. Thanks. All right, so Jamario Moon, the rookie. What a story. A Cinderella ride. All the alphabets, you name it. He's Fly been in those me different... to the moon. A little Francis Alba for you, Chuck. We'll be uh, right back. Pull it up. <laughs> 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 <laughs>